Mm. Okay, so hey everybody, um, I'm here with uh, Professor Avaro Nakane. Hey guys, from, hey everyone. Uh, Gracie Baja Sua, is it Sua yes. or Nagano? I can't remember which. Uh, it's Gracie Baja Sua. Sua, okay. Yeah, it's Gracie Baja Sua in the uh, Gracie Baja affiliation. Yeah, okay. But uh, in Japan Federation, we have uh, uh, registered like Gracie Baja Nagano. Oh, okay. Okay, so both, but... Yeah, both. Okay, so we're here in yeah, Sua and Nagano, which is right in the middle of Japan. Anyway, so I'm making this video because I wanted to just kind of uh, talk about BJJ in Japan for anybody who's interested in starting or is coming to Japan or visiting Japan and wants to train or wants to continue training. Yeah. So, okay, so first I thought um, I wanted to ask, so what's, what's your history with Jiu-Jitsu? Um, okay. When did you start? Uh, so my history with Jiu-Jitsu started when I was a teenager. I, I always, like a child, I always like it to uh, martial arts. I did a, a, a little karate and judo in my child. And my teenager, I did capoeira. It's like a Brazilian martial arts. Yeah. And after that, and this time, I used to see a lot of UFC. That's the time that UFC was uh, starting. And uh, uh, everyone liked uh, UFC and everyone uh, started to know jiu-jitsu. But I was, was already know jiu-jitsu because my cousin makes jiu-jitsu and some friends make jiu-jitsu. But in that oh, really? time, okay. yeah, in that time I did capoeira and I like capoeira so much. Uh, okay, and after a while I came to Japan. I came to Japan in 2000. Oh, okay, you were 18, 19, I think, was it? When I came, I was 19 to 20. Oh, okay. Okay, and uh, I came to Japan and uh, I found one professor, Capoeira professor here, and I started to train Capoeira. Oh, really? And in the same time, one guy started to teach uh, Jiu Jitsu here. So I get in, in that, that time. Oh, okay. Uh, it's, I think that is uh, 2002 or oh, three. Okay. Yeah, and you were training up in the way there, right? Yes, I trained yeah. here oh, and okay. uh, in Sua, and my professor teach, uh, what usually teach here. Oh, and okay. after my first professor, they call, uh, he passed away. Oh, okay. He was called uh, Elsu Furukawa. Was Grace Baja in the time he was Grace Baja. And uh, I think that the 2000, I think he, I don't remember now, four, 2004 or five, I don't remember yet. Uh, I was already a blue belt and he went to Brazil. He oh, goes okay. back to Brazil. So I get in Grace Baja Nagano with Professor Arudo Kobar Sensei. Oh, okay. And his dojo was in Ueda. Yeah. So people who aren't from this area, they don't realize that's like a what hour drive. It's like 90 minutes to drive from here to Ueda. Yes. So I, you're driving yeah. that all the time. Yes, training. all the time. <laughs> yeah, about three, three times a week. Wow, okay. Four yeah. times a week. That's a long two. drive over the mountains. Like yes, the on the mountains. <laughs> yeah, in the winter, a lot of snow. Yeah. So obviously you love jiu-jitsu, right? Yeah, you I like jiu -jitsu so training. much. I love jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Okay. It's my... It's everything that I have now in Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, so yeah, now of course you're a black belt. And when did, when did, this, when did you start this dojo? I started been... to teach when I was a purple belt and I still was going to Ueda. And when my professor there uh, uh, graduated me to purple belt, he said, oh, because there is some people here in Sua, they, but they don't go to Ueda. And he said to me, oh, you can start to teach uh, in Sua. So okay. I start to teach here uh, and I teach here in the uh, about two or three uh, times a week Okay. and uh, go to Ueda two okay. times a week and we, when I was a purple belt. Okay. And uh, when I was a brown belt, he brown to black belt he graduated me and he went to Brazil oh, okay. and he let me or he, he said, oh, you are already the uh, responsible for Grace Bahana gun. Oh, okay. And I start. Okay. And uh, I, I, I usually, in that time, I usually to start to teach at the Taiko Kans, how I say in uh, yeah, Japan. Yeah, gyms, gym. yeah, kind of like yeah. public gyms. Yeah, public like gyms. That, yeah. And after a while, I start to, I start to rent the karate place. Né? So yeah. we use it yeah. to that karate place, uh, yeah, here Sento Sua. Kai Karate, yeah. And uh, I don't know, three years ago, yeah. we have 
we locate this this place yeah, and now you have two or three years ago i think yeah, yeah. and now you have uh, classes all all the week all of the video weeks yeah so every day here yeah. yeah three four times a, a day yeah. So how many people are, how many members are in the dojo now? There must be yeah, I'm 60, 70, 60 people, okay, 50, yeah. 60 people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if people know Nagano, um, we have, so I think two days a week it's in Matsumoto. Yeah. In, now it's one day. Oh, because okay. in Matsumoto we, we, we have to locate the public gym. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, now with Corona, it's a little, yeah. Massive, a little. Yeah. So just one day a week. Yeah. Here, so yeah. Sua every day. And uh, Matsumoto now one day, but usually three three times. Okay. Three times. So yeah. So if you're in central or southern Nagano, it's kind of easy to get a class yeah, here. I think everyone so. is all welcome to to come here and visit and yeah. And, uh, like we've had people visit. You know, some people just visiting town for a little bit. They come yeah, and train they, sometimes. Yeah. So they just show up. Yeah. So it's that's fine. Yeah. We always yeah. It's always nice to have people come in. Mm -hmm. But um. Yeah, like right now, as we make this video, it's what, July 2021. So obviously we still have the coronavirus yeah. pandemic. But, you know, we've been able to keep the gym open, I guess. Yeah, we, 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 but, we could uh, stay. Hopefully, if it's, once it calms down, you know, it'll be easier to travel, yeah. easier to visit. So. Yeah, everyone is welcome yeah. to come. So I thought, um, so I thought, yeah, I wanted to like make this video for people who are thinking about starting jujitsu in Japan. So mm. do you have any advice for anyone who's like... Um, Maybe they just they haven't trained yet. They want to start training and they want to look uh, for gyms. Yeah. Uh, so here in Japan, uh, everyone works a lot. I think that the, one of the countries that the people works more uh, yeah. hours a day. Uh, it's it's huge. So I think that uh, they must find a good place to train to practice. Uh, a, a place that uh, have a good envir environment. Yeah. Environment. And, uh, uh, and and just try to to joy joy the, the the journey. Yeah, I guess like um, like how how it's a, what's a good way to find a dojo? Yeah, so everyone here with the works, so you, you have to find a a dojo that have a good uh, compatible with your with your schedule, hours and days, and. Uh, Mm, a dojo that have uh, uh, more than one hour or two classes because you can adjust yourself but, uh, in time in case of of work and uh, mm, see a, a, a dojo that ha have uh, association of the Japanese Federation oh okay so there's like a Japanese Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Federation. yeah 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 oh, it's, okay. it's JBJJF Okay. There are others on, but JBJJF is affiliated with the IBJJF. Ah, okay. So that's like the biggest international yes, organization. Yes, yes. So okay. have you, it's good that you get in a, a dojo that is affiliated with them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, try to find one dojo that have a, uh, like a system to, to, to teach or, okay, or yeah. a system for the, the students learn so they know what what they you learn and how long they you learn how long they you uh, in how is the 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 procedure to to graduate oh, okay. get get your stripes and get your belts so okay. i think that the, if you are in a place that you know where you are and where you go i think it's better for you okay and yeah cuz the way i found this dojo was i did a i just did a google search for um uh, so the japanese word is brajirian jujutsu yes so it's a little different it's jujutsu yes and like somehow that word kind of changed as it like yes, you know, went to yeah. brazil and the rest of the yes world. this is this is funny because uh, yeah. uh jujutsu uh, in the beginning is a japanese name but uh, if you if you read the kanjis yeah. It's jujutsu. Yeah. But when uh, the first Japanese that went to Brazil and teach the graces, uh, probably mm. he said jujutsu, but the Brazilians uh, with... Uh, and you know, with the language barrier. Yes, like, yes, yeah. the language barrier. They cannot say jujutsu and they say a little jujitsu. Yeah. So change it a little. Or I wonder if the word changed or something. It's yeah, it's hard to tell. But um, so yeah, I searched for Brazilian jujutsu and then sua mm. because that's that's where I, yeah where I live and um, so I think that's my advice for people is to search for yeah Brazilian jujutsu and then your, your like yeah, your, your place name. yes because um there was I think is the blog still going I'm not sure I think 
there is or there was a blog for this dojo, and then there's like a website. So yes, yes, was, yeah. was, yeah, we we have. It. Yeah, so usually searching on that, you can find a dojo and find someone to contact, and that's how you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. it's good for you, look for, and uh, in these days you have Instagram, so everyone yeah. is connected oh, on Instagram, yeah, Instagram, Facebook, yeah, that's so way. you can see, you look for a place, and uh, you see the. Probably the the dojo have an Instagram account or yeah. the professor have Instagram account, okay, yeah. and you go to to surf and, and find some pictures, and you see if you're that's the place that you get yeah. you, you want to get in. And you could probably check like the largest like kind of national organizations and see if they have a branch or if they know somebody in an yeah, area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. like it's probably like when you started there were not many dojos, right? It was much smaller. Yeah, they are a little smaller. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now it's become more popular in Japan. Yeah, but the uh, uh, funny is that uh, now I th I think that we are in Nagano, uh, so a little in the middle of Japan. Uh, but there is true strong uh, polos. How you say polos? The Jiu-Jitsu in Japan. One is on the side of Tokyo and the other one is side of uh, Nagoya. Oh, okay. Aichiken. Oh, okay. And we are in the middle one, but uh, uh, some years ago, here in Nagan, there is a lot of Brazilians, and uh, oh, okay. there is many schools and the really? Brazilian uh, students and practitioners here. Oh, really? But uh, now mm, the Brazilians have a little. Uh, oh, okay, maybe not as many. No. Yeah, it's not many. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay. Mm. Yeah, and then. Um, I want to say, like, isn't like the, the Kansai area, like Kobe in that area, there's lots of dojos there? Yes, 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 okay. yes. Uh, in Kobe, we have the the Hombu, the, yeah, the headquarters, the headquarters of... in Japan of Grace Barra, yeah. uh, uh, leader by Professor uh, Nao Takigawa Sensei. And uh, there is a lot of Grace Barra there. In, oh, okay. There is in Hyogo, in Kobe, in Tokushima, Himeji, Osaka. Uh, a, okay. a lot of ones. Yeah, it seems like areas where there's more people from Brazil, there's more dojos. Like, isn't there a lot in like, I want to say Hamamatsu or something? Yeah, yeah. There, in, in Aichiken and Shizuoka and Guma, there's a lot of Brazilians, so there's a lot of Brazilians dojo. Oh, okay. But uh, in Tokyo, Tokyo, Saitama, uh, there's a lot of uh, Japanese dojos. Oh, okay. So, so yeah. Becoming more very popular and the, the Japanese are doing okay. Yeah, because that's one thing I wanted to ask is about language like um, For most people if they're joining like a local dojo, do you think it's likely that they're gonna speak in Portuguese or Japanese? Ah, Does yeah. it depend on who the professor yeah, is? Yeah, I, okay. I think that depends on the professor, but uh, mm, mm, I think okay. that uh, the language uh, I think that the language is not a, a, a a barrier or okay. uh, some bring some problems because uh, uh, we like to to speak a lot of jiu-jitsu yeah jiu -jitsu go yeah okay. <laughs> okay. it's kind of a special language yeah only for we have our, yeah. our special language but uh, I think that everyone uh, the Japanese is that they, they they went to to come to learn and the, if it, the professor is a Brazilian and not sp everyone speaks a little Japanese, uh, uh, but uh, everyone, I think, that can understand. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And probably a lot, it seems like a lot of people in the dojo and a lot of people, in, they have a lot of international experience. Yes, I have a lot like, of, um, I have Japanese students, Brazilian students, American students, uh, England students. I had, uh, not now, but I had Philippine students. So, yeah. uh, Korea students. So yeah. I have a lot of, a lot of it's yeah it's a very international thing yes, so yeah. yeah i think that yeah so even if you don't speak japanese perfectly or you know portuguese perfectly like it's you know it's not a problem to yeah stop you. That's, yeah, yeah I, I i try to do my best i'm i'm not speaking my my language is portuguese so portuguese is my mother language uh i studied english when i was in brazil and i came to japan now it's about 21 years okay, and i yeah. can speak japanese but uh, my mother language is Portuguese. But yeah. uh, I, I, I try to do my best with yeah. English and Japanese. Well, yeah, it's it's, it's a funny class because yeah, you'll be like explaining something in Portuguese to some people, uh, yeah. Japanese to some people, then English to me. It's yeah, like, it must, <laughs> must 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 be like, funny because yeah, well, I speak three well. languages in, in classes. It depends of the student that having that yeah. day. 
If you only Brazilians, I speak in Brazilian. If Japanese, I speak. In, I almost all classes have Brazilian and Japanese, so I speak both languages. I I speak one te uh, one technique that when I teach, I teach first in Japanese, and after that I change the part and I speak in in in, in Portuguese. And when he, when we have Jake, for example, yeah. or 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 other yeah other American or England people, I try to speak a little in English too. Yeah. Mm. So, but yeah. So obviously, yeah. One reason why everyone should come train here is because yeah, even no matter what language they speak, yeah, it's no problem. Yeah. <laughs> I try but, to do my best. But I feel like like um like you mentioned does like that Takigawa Sensei, the head of Gracie Baja. Yes. Like he he lived in Brazil for a long time. So yeah, he lived in Brazil a yeah. long time. He. I think that he started his journey here uh, in Japan when uh, when some professor come here and uh, and uh, he 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 became a passionate by Jiu Jitsu and he went to Brazil and still there I think I think that he he's blue to black belt uh, a long years about six years I don't know and he stay in the. Rio de Janeiro, okay. in the in the center of the Gracie Barras culture, okay. and he trained with uh, Carlos Gracie Jr. Wow, and okay. Marcio Feitosa, a lot of okay. good professors. Yeah. Okay, so then yeah, I just wanted to yeah uh, kind of encourage people, even if you're not perfect at Japanese or Portuguese or anything like yeah you yeah. can. And, and uh, even if it's just yeah starting yeah. or just visiting a gym, like the language is not a big problem. Yeah, I don't think. He, 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 and Jiu Jitsu has have a a huge power of uh, make everyone uh, uh, kind of, the same. Yeah, uh, together. Yeah, equal, yeah, make everyone together. So uh, probably if you if you come in any dojo, you will be very uh, welcome. Everyone will be uh, very friendly to you. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Do you have any advice for like new white belts, people who are just starting? Yeah, the new white belts. Uh, okay, the new white belts are one good, good advice. It's try to do the try to do the basic techniques. Try to uh, 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 hear very well what your teacher your your teacher teach you, and don't 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 need to to make the hurry the things or try to 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 look for some. Uh, uh, difficult techniques. Just focus on the basic ones and uh, escapes and join yourself. The, f the better things, enjoy yourself. So after that, you you can grow up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Kind of relax and yeah, that's relax the and I always hear. yeah, and, and just just yeah. enjoy the journey. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so how about the tournaments? Are there lots of, are there, like in a normal year, of course, right now with coronavirus, it's yes. kind of less, but in a normal year, there's usually lots of tournaments. And yeah, here in Japan, there's a lot of tour uh, tournaments because the, there is the JVJJF Federation, and then there is other ones. There is a, a other federation. So uh, when we do not have that coronavirus, uh, we probably almost every weekend have have tournaments. Oh, okay. Uh, most of the in Tokyo, in uh, Aichi, Shizuoka. Oh, okay. So usually, yeah, near the bigger cities, there's more tournaments. But yes. And I remember there were. I guess this is right before I started. There were tournaments even here in the. Local yes, area. yes. Yeah. Uh, there is. Uh, yes, as a long time ago in Nagano was a very big tournament. Oh, okay. Well. Uh, yeah. Uh, that was my first uh, professor make it. The uh, tournaments oh, here. Okay, so, so came uh, everyone from Japan to, to here, but no, not 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 now anymore. Oh, okay. But sometimes uh, one one event makes the tournament in, in, in Nagano. Okay. Yeah. So sometimes, yeah. Usually in normal times, we, there's a couple of people from the gym who like to go compete. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then maybe hopefully that'll start up again. Yeah. Yeah. The fun. The 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 good thing is jujitsu. Uh, it's for everyone, and there is many students that like to compete and go to the tournaments and uh, they have uh, his passion for being a champion and uh, there is not only this there is some practitioners some people some person that like to to learn the self defense techniques and uh, uh, or someone that that just like to to make fitness and and 
move your body or someone would like you to, to love the techniques. And so Jiu-Jitsu is for everyone and every people yeah. have, have his obje objective. Yeah. Like I want to say, yeah, in this dojo, there's classes, like, there's, like, normal classes, and then there's, like, classes only for children. Yeah, classes yeah. Classes only for women, so. Yes, yes. Yeah, there's, like, different, yeah, people with different objectives. Can yes, yes, here. different objectives. Yeah. I think that the, uh, this is one uh, good thing for people who search Jiu-Jitsu, too, is to find a place that uh, the professors know, try to know what, uh, try to look for what your objective and help you to do what you want. Okay, mm. yeah. Because there, there, there's some place that is, it's more a competition school. And uh, so someone that they are not competitor or don't, don't have his, this passion uh, will be a, a little... Uh, a little difficult. Yeah, yeah. A, little, a, a little difficult. So okay. I, I, I think that you must look for and find one place that uh, the professors uh, help you to do what you want. Okay. Mm. Okay, great. Yeah, I just hope that's, yeah, once, once coronavirus is finally over, you know, I hope that, yeah, people find this video or other videos yeah. and help, you know. You can enjoy training in Japan. There's lots of gyms and lots of things to learn and yeah. a lot of cool people to meet. So. Yeah, a lot of cool people, a lot of make, make new friends. And here in Japan, a lot of people work a lot, so you have to have something to, to enjoy a little and yeah. uh, take your stress. Yeah, well. yeah. Sometimes it's funny. Like for me, it's like if I have like a stressful day and I come here and I roll, it's like I forget everything. Yes, <laughs> like, yes. Once you start, when you when you come yeah, here, you, you, you forget everything. Yeah. You don't have time to think all the yeah, things like, yeah, <laughs> because <laughs> someone is yeah. is. Yeah, you're gonna get smashed yeah. if you don't. Yeah, think. so yeah, but, it's a good thing, and you you swear a lot, and you say, "Oh, that was a good train." Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. well thanks a bunch. Yeah. I hope. Um, yeah. Hope that uh, some people view this video and can yeah. Yeah, start. Thank training. you for, for uh, seeing us and everyone is welcome to to show up here. Okay. So all right. Thank so you, thanks so much. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> See you on the mat next time. Yes. <laughs>